The Who is without a doubt one of the most influential English rock bands of the 20th century. They formed in London, England in 1964. Their initial lineup consisted of lead singer Roger Daltrey, singer-songwriter and guitarist Pete Townsend, bassist and backing vocalist John Entwistle, and drummer Keith Moon. As of 2022, The Who is still touring and releasing music. Their most recent album, Who, was released in 2019. Despite still being a force to be reckoned with, the band's lineup has changed substantially over the last 50 years. Join Faxverse as we take the time to discuss the band members of The Who, who sadly are no longer with us. We'll also check in with the two surviving original band members to see what they're up to these days. John Entwistle John died of a heart condition brought on by taking copious amounts of cocaine during an evening of partying with a Las Vegas stripper. He was found dead June 27, 2002, in his suite at the Hard Rock Hotel. According to the coroner's report, Entwistle had apparently taken a hefty dose of the drug three to four hours before his death. That evening, the 57-year-old musician spent some time at the hotel's bar with fellow band members Townsend and Daltrey. The three bandmates, notorious for partying hard and living life to excess during their prime in the late 60s and early 70s, were celebrating the start of their U.S. tour. After having one last drink, Entwistle, who earned the nickname The Ox because of his tendency to stand completely still while on stage, retired to his room with his female companion sometime around 3 a.m. The woman had reported hearing him snoring during the night, but noted he had rolled over around 6 a.m. When she woke up in the morning around 10, he was reportedly cold to the touch and unresponsive. She tried CPR and called paramedics, but no one was able to resuscitate him. Entwistle was renowned for his musical abilities. His use of pentatonic lead lines and the treble-rich sound was groundbreaking at the time. In 2011, Rolling Stone readers rated him the greatest bass player of all time. Bass Player Magazine likewise named him number 7 on their list of the 100 greatest bass players in 2017. Doug Sandum Doug was the Who's original drummer. During the infancy of the band's career, while they were still playing under the name The Detours, Sandum, who previously worked as a bricklayer, joined the group as a drummer. While the other band members were in their late teens, Sandum was already in his early 30s. Eventually, this age difference proved to be quite problematic with the other band members. Sandum's wife was also opposed to him staying out late. After discovering in February of 1964 that there was already a band called The Detours, the band changed their name to The Who on Valentine's Day. In early 64, The Who secured an audition with Fontana Records. The label wasn't impressed with what they heard, and producer Chris Parminter particularly didn't like Sandum's drumming. The band's manager at the time, Helmut Gordon, along with Townsend, Daltrey, and John Entwistle, agreed Sandum should leave. He was given a month's notice and subsequently left the group in April. A month after his departure, Keith Moon was hired after he approached the band after one of their shows and told him he could play better than the stand-in drummer they'd hired to fill in for Sandum. No recordings with Sandum playing have ever been leaked or released. In 2014, Sandum published a memoir called The Who Before The Who. Five years later, on February 27, 2019, Sandum died the day after celebrating his 89th birthday. Before we tell you more about Who members who have died, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Keith Moon Rock music lost one of its most talented drummers and one of its most hell-raising characters on September 7, 1978. Not only was Keith Moon one of a kind when he was behind a drum kit, but there was also no one quite like him when it came to his over-the-top lifestyle and irreverent attitude. Moon was born August 23, 1946. When he was a teen, he already demonstrated he was a very gifted drummer. When he joined The Who, it was nothing short of a match made in heaven. He added a crucial element to the band that had previously been lacking. Not only did his percussion work give the group's music a chaotic edge, but Moon served as a comic foil of sorts to the ever-serious Pete Townsend. Moon's life was cut short after a night of heavy partying. His death was caused by an overdose of pills he had taken to combat his alcoholism. That drug, Heminevrin, was a powerful sedative, so it would have only taken a handful of them to bring about his death. According to his autopsy, Moon had taken almost a third of his 100-pill prescription. The drug disabled his esophagus, preventing him from vomiting, and ultimately suffocated him. The Who's manager, Bill Kerbishley, said that while Moon had never touched harder drugs, he was never someone destined to grow old gracefully. He said Moon was never going to make old bones and that he was designed in such a way to be remembered as he was. 
Sadly, at the time of his death, the band had just embarked on a new chapter of their journey together with the release of their album, Who Are You?, just weeks prior. Eerily on that album's cover, Moon is seen sitting on a chair with the words, Not to be taken away, written on it. Pete Townsend At 77, The Who's co-founder, leader, guitarist, vocalist, and primary songwriter, Pete Townsend is alive and well. But as much as you might think he would lament the deaths of his fallen bandmates, Townsend was quoted by Rolling Stone in 2019 as saying, Thank God that Keith Moon and John Entwistle are dead. After Moon died in 1978, the group recruited Kenny Jones to take his place. His tenure with the band proved short-lived as the group split up in 1983. They did make a handful of reunions over the years since then, but when they got back together full-time in 1996, drummer Zach Starkey took up a permanent position behind the drum kit and has been there ever since. When Rolling Stone asked Townsend about Moon and Entwistle's death, he was quick to deny feeling any sort of nostalgia for the good old days. He went on to say that while he might be upsetting some of the band's friends, he's somewhat happy they're gone because, quote, they were effing difficult to play with. Townsend shared they were never able to create bands for themselves. He further added, it's his belief it was his musical discipline and efficiency as a rhythm player that held the band together. The death Townsend said hit him the hardest was that of his guitar tech of more than 40 years, Alan Rogan. Townsend is currently touring with The Who for their 2022 North American tour. The tour was initially meant to promote the band's 2019 album, Who, but was postponed due to COVID. Townsend confirmed to Rolling Stone that Spitfire Films is producing a Keith Moon biopic film, though he didn't have many details to offer. Roger Daltrey While the days of smashing up guitars and trashing hotel rooms might be long gone, for the Who's Roger Daltrey, some things never change. The 78-year-old co-founder and lead singer of The Who might be getting up there in years, but he can still pack a musical punch. Daltrey is considered by many to be one of the most talented and powerful singers in rock history. Alongside Townsend, Daltrey is currently touring with their band for the Who Hits Back 2022 tour, which kicked off with a show on April 22nd at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. While Daltrey has always been a cornerstone of The Who, he's also enjoyed a successful solo career. He put out his first solo album, Daltrey, in 1973, and has since released nine albums. His most recent, 2018's As Long As I Have You, received positive reviews from critics and was released on vinyl, CD, and digitally. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite member of The Who? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.